Hey, this is Tom with that YouTube channel. Um, had a uh, early model Cascadia come in today um, for a no start. Um, it was towed in. Uh, roadside went by and looked at it, said it had no ECM function, um, couldn't communicate, so possible ECM failure. Uh, went ahead and hooked up my laptop to it. Uh, right away, I could see that the ECM was functioning as I had a uh, I could see everything. So my laptop was communicating with the ECM. However, it was only powered on one side as I had no actuator sweeps or no functions or I couldn't clear codes or anything like that. Um, went ahead and popped the hood. First thing I looked at was the top was missing on this fuse panel right here. Um, with that being said, I started looking at it, took my power probe and started checking voltage across these fuses. Um, I had about two volts right here, about three volts right here, had none on this 30 amp, had 12 right here. Um, checked the bottom side of it and I uh, had 12 volts. There's a lot of corrosion in there and stuff like that. Went ahead and shot power to this 30 amp right here. When I did that, I had actuator sweep from the EGR valve and everything going ahead and checking references and voltage on the engine. All right, so that way I knew everything was functioning right away. Went ahead and put me a jumper wire across it all right, so I could put 12 volts to that that uh, 30 amp fuse. As soon as I did that, went ahead and turned the key, truck fired right up. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and get a fuse box for this. Um, got a call in the freight liner right now to go ahead and get one of those. We're gonna replace the fuse box, put a cover on it, and then uh, she should be good to go. Um, had a lot of after treatment codes in it and stuff like that. So possibly from where it was shutting down, losing voltage. So we're gonna go ahead and run a regen on it and all that stuff, and then uh, see where we go from there. Check me out. Go ahead and like and subscribe.